Good afternoon. My presentation will be slightly different because I will not present any uh, beautiful and interesting geological method or specific topic, but it's about kind of multidisciplinarity and how to make them useful. So this is a task for a special information expert group. I have three minutes, so I will focus on just one particular uh, topic and our main focus. To conduct a research or to make any decisions supporting the policies we've heard about today and yesterday, uh, we need, uh, in most cases, subsurface data. And these data must be uh, quality harmonized, well organized. And the only data and information are useful if they are easy to find, if they confirm the recognized standards and uh, if they can be reused, meaning they are fair, uh, following fair principles. And this can be achieved by having a shared effort and vision and, and courage to standardize and harmonize and innovate. And to address this need, Eurojo Surveys has a special information expert group that share expertise of geological surveys and is an advisor in geoinformation strategy design and development. For almost 20 years, uh, EGS members put a lot of effort into harmonizing national data and making them available in accord with uh, INSPIRE principles and other relevant standards. They collaborated through many EU projects focused on a specific geological topics and uh, pan-European data harmonization, but uh, due to lack of resources, it was uh, difficult to maintain that in the long run. For this reason, uh, and after the EGDI scope project, EGS decided to establish uh, European Geological Data Infrastructure, EGDI, as a robust sustainable platform. In spring 2016, a group of uh, EGS members originated from Spatial Information Expert Group developed this first version of EGDI. During the Geo era, Geoinformation Platform Project uh, significantly EGDI was developed and uh, enriched with uh, many data sources and functionality. So many components of EGDI include, of course, well-maintained data, documents, metadata, advanced search system, and uh, map viewer, download system, many other functionalities. And one of the main aims of just starting GSU project is to continue this effort and to add new feature and to allow to transform EGDI into a knowledge infrastructure. One of the main aim of the GSU uh, and is to bring all these results of the previous activities into newly established geological service for Europe. One of the main aims of uh, this is provide as easy access as possible to trusted, open and harmonized data uh, of the subsurface that are not specifically mentioned in any of uh, these uh, specific uh, goals, but may and should contribute to many of them, if not all of them. And of course, we need to bring new functionality and to present the data to make them useful and uh, supporting EU decision makers. And GSU will be also a knowledge hub for sharing the knowledge of uh, the scientists and spe specialists from all the expert groups. And also it should uh, 
enhance the interoperability and connection to other infrastructures like EPOS, uh, EOSC, destinationers, and others. Each day under the GSU must be a sustainable service, meaning it must be permanently maintained, not just for the specific uh, five years project, but for a long run. Data and information must be the best available, and the technology must enable to data to be easily found, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. So this is the main message I wanted to bring. Thank you. <laughs>